Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. In this snippet, we're going to look at the variable radius fillet. You can access this tool from going to fillet and then select as the fillet type of variable radius. Now within here, you will select your edge face feature or loop as normal. So in this instance, I'm going to select just an edge. Within the variable radius parameters box, we have the ability to set a radius using a uh, radius box. And we have uh, V1 and V2 listed in here, which are the vertices of the edge that we've selected, i.e. the endpoints. We can set different values for each one of these vertices. So let's begin by setting them both to 10. Okay, um, within here we can add additional control points. So you can see that as I start to increase the value, the pink dots along the line increase and decrease, like so. Um, these control points allow us to change the, or specify a value for the fillet at that particular point. Okay, now to start changing these radiuses, you can do them directly from uh, the parameters box here, or alternatively, what I tend to do is come to these flyouts and start to change them here. So we'll go from 50 to, let's say, 5. Okay, now you can see from the preview uh, that we currently get a smooth transition along that edge from 50 to 5, but we could set that to straight if we wanted to. Okay. If we want to use these control points, we can just simply click on them along the line and you'll notice a flyout appears next to them. Now with this flyout, what we can do is we can define a value for the radius at that particular point. So let's go 45 there. And we can define its percentage along the line. So I'll just change the percentage here from 75 to 85. Okay, you'll notice that when I change that percentage to 85, the original control point comes back into play. And again, we will just simply click on that to use it. Once you're happy with how the preview looks, just hit the green tick to complete the feature. And there's our variable radius fillet. Thank you for watching.